Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. And I have Ipsy. This is what we're doing today. Um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy you're here. I have a live usually every Saturday night. There will be a live this Saturday night at 8 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. Come by, say hi, meet the girls. I have the best girls on my live. I have the best subscribers. Everyone's so lovely and we have such a great time and we talk about everything and everyone is just so kind and nice to each other and we just have like a big family of sisters. So you're not alone, just so you know. Everyone goes through stuff in life. Everyone's got different journeys, but you're not alone. So if you're new to my channel, come by, say hello, introduce yourself, and we'd all love to meet you. Okay, so this is my second time doing this video. Um, this is my Ipsy bag. If you are new to Ipsy in Canada, we only get the deluxe size bag, which is five deluxe size items every month. It costs us between 20 and 21 dollars we do get to choose one item out of that bag they'll send you an email it's a certain day in February like at the end of the month maybe the 23rd I think something like that you can go on your um, Ipsy account or the app and pick out you know um, one thing that you want coming in your March bag if you're going for March month right they also have something called add-ons so on the second of every month is when you're going to get your spoilers of all five products that's in your bag and you get a chance to get add-ons. Deluxe size add-ons are $3 US, full size are $12 US, and then they have the extra, you know, more expensive add-ons, which are about $18. There's only usually between one and three of those items. Okay, so I'm going to show you my first couple of add-ons. And again, this is my second time using this bag, so... Um, I got some brushes. I used them this morning. They're really good, but I was kind of kicking myself afterwards when I bought them because I'm like, okay, this cost me about $15 US. And I went, why am I doing that when I know I can get, you know, pretty good brushes on Amazon, like a whole set face brushes for $15 Canadian. You know what I mean? So why I did that. I don't know but when Ipsy has a three dollar add-on with your brushes I always go I always get a brush every month I will get a brush because I think it's a good deal you know five bucks Canadian for some really good brand name brushes but these are the brushes they're really good um, this one is the blending brush then we have the concealer brush which I never usually use this as a concealer brush you can use your brushes any way you want to this one here is, I believe, the shadow brush. Then we have the smudge brush, and we have an eye crease. So I did use these, and we're going to use them again, because as I'm pulling things out of my bag, I'm gonna put it on my face, because I have a really good bag this month. Um, like a full face of makeup kind of a bag. I did get more add-ons as well. My lips are so dry. I got a uh, pure Brazilian leave-in hair conditioner. No, it's a mask, right? A deep conditioning mask with argan oil, cocoa butter, and more great ingredients. So I love, love, love hair mask. Whenever I see these as an add-on, I always grab a hair mask because I love a hair mask. They also gave you a six product free this month. I don't know if everybody got one. I think they did. Usually they do it for Valentine's Day. And they're also giving everyone a six product free in March as well. And they came out saying they got something big happening for March. And I'm like, it's definitely not adding ca Canadians. So we can get the, you know, other two boxes that Canadians can't get. That ain't happening. I tweeted them about it the other day and they just gave some mumble jumbo excuse. But the thing is, Ipsy's been around since 2011. The first makeup subscription company. And we still can't get everything that they offer. Boxy can do it. Other companies can do it. Why not Ipsy? I still don't understand that. So this is what I got. This was my sixth item. I was like, really? A lotion? Get me excited, right? Anyway, it's a Sila by Celine Tedrisi. Creme de la creme, the very best cream. It's a body butter, a body cream with Canadian botanicals. So that was my sixth um, item, my free gift. I wasn't that, you know, I'm like, thanks for the free body lotion. Uh, you know, send me a mascara. That would have made me happier, right? 
Okay, and I bought, um, did I buy one more? One, two, three. Just trying to figure out here if I got something else. One, two, three. Oh, I did. Oh my goodness. This. I bought this for the $3 add-on. And it's a cute little four quad eyeshadow. I had it on all day. I'm going to put it on again. Really cute. Um, I love the formula of the mattes. The, like the blend like a dream, but the pigment in it is not like bam. You know, we've seen better pigment, but you can build it. The shimmer, this gold one, is kind of chunky. So be careful. You're going to put it on with your fingertip, not with a brush. Brush is not working for the shimmers. You're going to go with your fingertip. Even if you wet the brush, I didn't find it worked that great. Go with your fingers and make sure you, you know, tap, tap, tap it off. Because I did find this a little bit chunky. Um, but it's cute. It's, you know, you can take it anywhere. Go into a restaurant, go into a party, put it in your purse. You know, it's, it's, it's so adorable. I think this is so cute. I couldn't pass that up. Okay, so my bag. So this is the Valentine's Day deluxe size ipsy bag I know they had another one come out this month I don't know if it was like the premium box or the $25 box they have that we can't get here in Canada but one of them is a really really nice bag it's got the little ipsy on the tag there ipsy inside and it's nice and velvety it's a cute little you know bag right okay so the theme is Okay, what is this? Love at first click. Oh, save the date, February 24th. Um, that's when you get to choose your item at a, you know, you get to choose one out of the five items you get in this bag. It's February 24th, so don't forget that. And then they're talking about things that we can't get here in Canada, like, you know, treating yourself to exclusive bundles and all that we can't get. Okay, what is the theme? Treat yourself, that's what the theme is called. Feel the love, treat yourself. Okay, and they always say the value of your bag is usually $50 plus. So it's always over $50. Okay. First thing I got, and I did try it when I took off my makeup, I used it to cleanse my face. It's really, really nice. It's a coffee cream, Khaleesi Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. And it says the value of the full size version of this product is $21.95. And, um, yeah, it's a cleanser. I didn't think it smelled very much like coffee, though. Not really. I didn't have, like, it didn't have a big coffee smell to me, which is good because, you know, I don't drink coffee. Okay. The next thing in my bag, so as I'm pulling it, I'm going to take it off. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer Plus Oil Free. And what does it say about this? Full size version of this is $39 US. Wow. And it's like a, a gel like. It's very clear. There's not much in here at all. So you're pretty much going to use this up. If you like it a lot, it's going to be gone. That's why, that's why I like it when I get an Ipsy bag and there's this size of a primer in it. You know what I mean? Because It Cosmetics has like the tiniest deluxe sizes like they're really tiny I mean it's not as bad as the um, what is that the benefit cosmetics those little primers that they put in the bags you know the deluxe sizes they're really freaking small so this is not as bad as that but this not only does it multitask it's a multitasking primer it's got bark and ginger root it's supposed to it's oil free it's hydrating Refines your pores, plus it's so light you can barely feel it on your skin. See how red my face is? I've been, I was picking at my skin and now my face is really freaking red. And uh, it's almost, almost like it's burning that I, I was picking at my skin. It's not this. I've had this on, like I said, already today. But my skin just feels like it's burning right now. This isn't hydrating enough for me. It's a nice primer. My skin feels very silky and stuff, but it's not... I'm putting a little bit more on. It's not hydrating enough, and my skin needs hydration. So I'm just going to go in with the First Aid Beauty. Put a little bit of that over it. Oh, my God. 
my skin is like not in a good place today not at all and I should have known better but I'm getting those little bumps back again and I don't know what it's from I think it's from the oil that I've been using and I know better um, just before we went away to Jamaica and when I got back I was using um, I got that Garnier oil for a, a top box circle mission and I was using that because my skin was so dry and it really really helped my skin because it was so dry but I know that's the reason why I'm getting those little white bumps again because of the oil so I have to stop it I can't put oil on my skin okay next thing we have is the pure love your selfie foundation and I got it in and this was so funny when I first seen it LG6 so it's like LGS but it's LG6 so this is in a shade light nude and it says it's a foundation and a concealer this is light nude everybody I'm thinking I probably should have gotten a little bit of a darker shade and uh, I don't know why I'm kind of and I thought now that I know I thought when I ordered it that it might be a little bit too dark for me but I don't know once I got it on and I got bronzer and stuff on it's not too bad but I did have this on today and I must say I really really do like it um, but I think I need to have my face really moisturized for this foundation like I know a lot of youtubers like this foundation um, some did some didn't when it came out and I think it came out like I know see not quite my shade but we're going with it um, a lot of youtubers came out or when this came out it's got over a hundred shades and there were youtubers who liked it and youtubers who didn't like it and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this foundation to come to Shoppers Drug Mart and what I liked about it is that on pure website you can buy the mini versions but I never did get one but they don't have that here in Canada right and it just came I think it came to Canada about two months ago and it's at Shoppers Drug Mart again they have over a hundred shades now I don't know if every Shoppers Drug Mart's got all the 100 shades but I really want I couldn't wait to try this foundation out because a lot of people really did like it right like Raw Beauty Christie, I think this is like her favorite foundation. And it looks really, really nice on your skin. Like I think this would, it does, it looks really, really nice on your skin. But because it's not my shade, it's not coming out as nice as it looks up close. Like really nice on your skin up close. But we're going to make it work. We're going to put some bronzer on there. And now I'm putting way too much foundation on my skin. Like, I didn't need that much. You don't need, like, a full pump of this foundation. Um, I put a full pump, and I really didn't need it. Let me just see. I still have, like, a little bit left here. I'm just going to try to make some sense of it down here. By the way, I'm getting ready for bowling. It's Thursday night, and I want to get this video up. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today because I want to sort the laundry. So when we come home from that, and because it's a PA, no, yeah, it's a PA day tomorrow. Oh my God, the kids have been on strike. Tuesday and Wednesday school strike. PA day tomorrow. Monday's a holiday, everybody. Remember that. I totally forgot. Monday's a holiday if you're here in Ontario. It's family day. I don't know if it's a holiday everywhere else in Canada. Let me know. If you're in another province in Canada other than Ontario, is Monday a holiday for you? I don't know if it's just an Ontario holiday. I can't remember. Okay. We also got the, the Balm Blush in my bag, which is really, really nice. I love the Balm products. Can't say anything wrong about it. I just wish sometimes their sample sizes were a little bit bigger. You know, because sometimes their packaging is really, really small and... Then there's other times it might be a little bit bigger. I don't know, but usually it's really small. And we also got a K-Voss Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter. Now, the blush is really nice. Again, I had that on this morning. The highlight is kind of weird to me. I put it on, and I couldn't see the highlight in my camera, but I can see it in my mirror. So I'm thinking when I put it on in this video, 
it's really cute like that is so cute it's got a little mirror I think when I put it on in this video I'm probably gonna wet the brush and see if that shows up like it shows up you know on my hand but on my face today for some reason in the camera it didn't okay oh my god my mouth is so dry hold on okay I also forgot to tell you one more add-on that I did get like I said I always get brushes was this Moda Pro blush BMX 225 I'm not accentuate I use this today as a highlight brush as well as my blush brush it's such a nice brush love these kind of brushes I just ordered like three packs of the five dollar brushes eyeshadow brushes like these from BoxyCharm. I made one order and then I went back. I'm like, the brushes are still there. I gotta get more because I really, really like those eyeshadow brushes. For five bucks, why not, right? Which is, surprisingly, I actually got um, tracking for my first Boxy pop-up order yesterday. It's not, you know, left the warehouse or anything, but it's on its way. So everyone, that's what I got for my $20. I got the primer, I got the foundation, I got the cleanser, I got the blush, and I got the highlight, which is not too bad for 20 bucks. You know, so pretty much with this and the brushes, my bag is like a full face of makeup, pretty much, right? So that's not bad. I do like Ipsy because I like the sample sizes that I get. You know, sometimes you can get a bag and you can get like a brush. A full-size brush from, you know, Luxie Beauty or Farah or, you know, somewhere expensive. Or you can get, like, a full-size lipstick and other items that you probably would never purchase, you know, and that here in Canada we can't get, you know, those brands. So that's another reason why I like Lux or Ipsy is because a lot of times I'm getting brands that I would never get here in Canada and I wouldn't order it from that brand website because it's too much money you know so at least I get to try the product right because I'm sure there's a lot of people who have um, tried certain products from their Ipsy bag you know especially here in Canada that unless you know want to worry about customs and duty fees excursion rates and shipping and because a lot of these brands they're shipping to Canada is really expensive and then we have to worry about the customs and the duties. I'm going in with my Butter London bronzer just to bronze that up a bit. Not make me look so pale. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people who, you know, have gotten certain things from Ipsy and when you see it as an add-on, you grab it. What is probably, mine is brushes. When I see brushes or a, a hair mask or a leave-in hair conditioner, I always grab it as an add-on. What would you say is yours? Like your one thing that you know, if they have it on sale on Ipsy as an add-on, you're grabbing it every single time. I would say that's what mine would be. And foundation, if I don't get foundation in my bag and they have a you know deluxe size foundation for three bucks or five dollars Canadian, like this, if this wasn't in my bag, but I did, I, cho I chose this as my choice and there were some really good choices, but if I didn't, I was getting this if it was you know up for sale right I always get the foundation whatever they have I always try it they did have a full-size Wonder Beauty foundation but because I brought those brushes I didn't get the full-size Wonder Beauty foundation I was kicking my butt for you know not picking that okay what are we doing next concealer all right you know what I did the other day I have a new ColourPop concealer and it's um, more or less like a wintertime concealer when I, I still I think I still got a little tiny bit of a tan left on my face not much and I didn't really like the shade of the concealer so I don't know and I don't know if no I had added two that's what I did I put two concealers together and it didn't look you know an hour later my eyes were a mess so I wasn't sure if it was the new ColourPop that I ordered because I have both the concealers, because they came up with a new one. The pretty fresh one. It's a Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I also have their old one. And I really do like their old one, but I didn't have it in, like, you know, my wintertime shade. It was my summertime shade, right? It was a dark shade. That's my NARS, everybody. Love that. So I don't know if I like this 
new concealer or not. Okay, I'm just going in with some blush on this brush. And I love this brush because it's so small and quaint. You can pretty much put it where you want on your cheeks. And the color of the blush, it's so natural looking. It's like a little a flush. It's like you just got a little flush on your cheeks. Come on now. I'm trying to keep the blush just on my, the apples of my cheeks and a little bit up here. And sometimes with brushes, I end up getting it down here. And I just want it on my cheekbones because this is my cheekbones. So, I know. <laughs> You're supposed to smile, right? And I'm like, does anyone else make strange faces when they're putting on their makeup? Right? Everyone's like, you're supposed to smile, and I'm making this goofy kind of face. Just Oh, watch. I got another one. Goofy. No, wait, now hold on. I can't do it now. There we go. Goofy face. Anybody else? But isn't that pretty? It's like this just little flush of color on your face. I really, really like that. My mouth is so dry today so dry okay now we're going in with the k boss which i'm assuming is kate boss i don't know is it kate boss god this is a real something to open and i'm going to take a fan brush do i have one like not dirty here we go and i want to show you because i found this going on really weird today. Can you see it? I see I can see a little bit of a sheen in my mirror, but not on the camera, which is strange because usually, you know, on the camera, I usually end up seeing the shine. All right. So we're just going to wet this little baby and see if this makes any kind of a bit of a difference. I can see it in my mirror. I'm trying to show you guys, and I don't know if you can see it. Well, I guess it's showing up there a little bit, maybe. Come on now. I'll be like going to bowling like a big shiny disco ball. I'm just a shiny disco ball at bowling. I wonder what kind of bowling night it's going to be. How did I, oh, I want to tell you something. So remember when I did my um, top box video and they sent me that Bite Beauty lip mask um, and I said like, this is not, can you see it? Well, I guess a little bit right there, right? It's kind of freaky deaky. Like I can see it in my mirror, but on camera, I'm not seeing it that well. I'll probably see it as I play it back. I don't know. Maybe it's just a subtle highlight. Okay. What are we doing next? We're going to play with our little quad here. So, what was I saying? Oh, um, top box. So, remember when I said that when they first came out with... Now, where are you, you dirty bugger? When they first came out with the... Um, there it is all this time looking for my full-size Milani well my new Milani lip liner when they first came up the wish list I selected the bite beauty mask three minutes three minutes later I went back in and I changed it to a regular box and they sent me the bite uh, lip mask did I just say beauty mask the Bite Beauty Lip Mask. That's what they sent me for the Pride for this month. So, I went and sent them an email with screenshots. I have a new lipstick. I don't, I don't know. I had it on this morning and it didn't quite look all right with this, so I'm not going to put it on. 
I sent them screenshots of, you know, when they send you back the email saying, okay, so you chose this. So I sent them both screenshots. The first one saying that I chose the Bite Beauty and the second one saying that I chose a regular box. I do like this lip gloss. And it was literally three minutes apart. So they wrote me back and they said, thank you so much for sending the screenshots and they were gonna send me out a regular box. You know, I should get it in the next couple of weeks, right? So I wrote them back and I said, thank you. And I said, you know, I have some questions and I wanted to know what was going on with Top Box was pretty much what I said. I'm like, you know, because we've gotten some really good things in our boxes last year. I mean, if you were lucky enough to get um, the boxes with the good, you know, expensive products in it, and I made comments of that too, like, you know, why is it that some boxes come out and they could be worth, you know, 150, 200 Canadian dollars and some other boxes that can even amount to 50, right? You know, I made a comment about that and I said, I know, you know, in the last few months, you've had a lot of people cancel a lot of Canadians cancel, which is sad because there's not many Canadian beauty boxes, you know, that are affordable, right? Um, you know, and a lot of people are saying that, you know, you had this price increase, but since you've had the price increase, the boxes has, you know, has, have been subpar. And, you know, I was asking like, what changed? And is that going to change? Like. Will the boxes going back, will they go back to being like something to get excited about again? Because what's coming out now is pretty much what came out, you know, in 2017, 2018 when I started, right? 2018, I think it was, with that company. I mean, 2019 was a great year for Top Box. It really, really was. And Lux Box and the add-ons, you know. Um, so I asked those questions and I also said, one of the things that is noticed about Top Box is that we don't know anything about this company. Like other subscription boxes interact with their subscribers, but there's no interaction with you. We don't know anything at all about this company. I'm taking the uh, blender brush and going in with the really light brown color. There it is. Holy cow, hold on. It's there. Can you see it? It's very, very light. There we go, and this is the dark brown that's in that quad, okay? So, you know, I'm like, we don't know anything about you, you know what I mean? Like, you don't interact with subscribers, um, and that's, you know, one of the things about subscription boxes that do interact with the subscribers. You know, there's no spoilers. We do get excited, you know, to have owners interact with subscribers and stuff like that, and especially since, you know, so many people are unhappy, like, I'd love to be able to, I mean, anyways, it went on to say in the, in the email that I'd love to be able to do a video in your office talking about Top Box and what direction you want to see it go and, you know, what are you looking forward to in the future and are the boxes are going to get better, you know, um, is it going to be more makeup coming now because it used to always be skincare and like just so many questions to ask them and what are you going to do to try to get those subscribers back that you lost, right? Anyways, I'm waiting on a reply. So, you know, I'd love to be able to do that video with Top Box. Maybe go live or something. I mean, they're probably scared to go live because I can, can imagine, if not the questions, some of the comments, you know. But, um, yeah, like we don't know anything about them. And I think they're like the only subscription company that I get that there's no interaction. You know, it's like email them and that's it. Like they don't come out and go, okay, here's a spoiler for next month and stuff like that. So I guess we'll see what happens. I really don't expect, I'm just taking a little tiny one here and going in with that dark brown. The powder, the formula on this, these mattes, I really, really love the formula. It's like blending itself. I mean, that brown is not, you know, as pigmented, but it's did the job, right? 
but I like the formula. It's it's so nice and soft. You know, sometimes you put like eyeshadow on your lids and it just looks like a powdery, dried up mess. This isn't it. Like the formula for this is really nice. It's just the pigment isn't kabam. You know what I mean? I'm sure you can build it up. But I really, really like the formula. So what do you think? Like, I don't know if they'll come back and say, yeah, okay, cool, do a video. I don't think that'll ever happen. But if they did, what would be some questions that you would like to ask them? And <laughs> kindly ask them. Because, you know, like, the boxes have really, really sucked. They have really sucked. And a lot of people have canceled. You know, and that's the thing, like, for $3 more, I just got all of that in my Ipsy. Almost a full face of makeup, shorts, deluxe sizes, but still, it's going to take a long time to go through that blush and that highlighter, you know what I mean? I got a, a primer and a foundation, so you can't go wrong, you know, if you're going to get, going to spend your $17 on top box and never know what you're going to get. Or take your chance on Ipsy, you know what I mean? Personally, I like for both of them to be great. So that would be, I don't know. All right. That's not too bad. I'm just going to blend it in with this bigger brush here. Did you get your Ipsy bag? Are you still waiting for your Ipsy bag? All right. So I'm going in with that. You know, Let me use my little finger. That gold shimmer shade. That's what it looks like. And it is kind of chunky, so as you're putting, because I'm really like putting my finger in there. And I found when I did this this morning, maybe because I'm being a little bit more gentle now, but I found the chunks were coming off and going down on my face, but I just shook my head and it would fall off because it was such big chunks. So it wasn't those little shimmers that, you know, drives me crazy sometimes when I'm putting on a shimmer that's all over my face and you can't get it off. I, um, oh, I started going in with tape. When I get shimmer on my face now, I'll go in with like a piece of scotch tape and try to like stick it off kind of thing. It works. It really works. This is a really nice eyeshadow palette. Can you call it a palette though when it's only like four eyeshadows? A really nice quad. I think it's great, like if you're going out somewhere. 32 minutes on an Ipsy video, yay. I think it's great if you're going out somewhere and, I mean, you can glam this up too, you know what I mean? Take it with you if you're going to a party, a function, you know? And you can glam it up, which is great. Okay, now I'm taking the white shimmer. I just, right there, you know what I just did? I just put it over the brown. You can't really see it on my pale ass arm, can you? Look, that's pretty. I'm going to bowling looking all glam today. Glammed up for bowling. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Anyone got any plans for Valentine's Day? Ian's at work. So, um, yeah, I have no plans. If you happen to see me pop up live <laughs> tomorrow, come by and say hi. I don't, I'm not saying 100% that I might go live tomorrow night, but Ian's working and I'm all alone for Valentine's Day. Which seriously though, guys, really, after like a thousand years of being together, really, Valentine's Day. I don't know. Chances are I'm going to wake up in the morning and he's going to have something there for me and I'm going to feel like a something that I don't want to say. See what I just did? I just got that gold shimmer and under my eye and look, it's 34 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll fix that after. Okay, I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm really liking my Ipsy bag this month. I like it when I get a lot of makeup. And I don't have very much skincare ticked off. And if you do get skincare and you don't want it, give it one star and a terrible review. 
Even if it's good skincare, still give it one star and a terrible review. Because I think, I do believe most times they do go by your reviews. So like, say if I get a lipstick and I don't have lipsticks ticked off, right? It's rarely on my thing. Even if I like it, I'm still giving it a terrible review. Because I don't, you know, necessarily like getting lipsticks in my bag because I only like a bullet lipstick. And half the time, you never get the colors you like anyway, you know. So, if I get something, you know, say if they put a mascara in my bag and I have mascara ticked off, you know, I'll go back. Like, if I see there's a really good mascara coming out, I'll go and fix my profile. But most times, I have it ticked off because we were getting so many mascaras. And sometimes the mascara is like, I don't want to do say mascara. That's another filler brand, you know. I wonder how many filler brands Ipsy has. I don't think I've really paid attention to it. See, and that's the one thing with Ipsy. There's not many times you're getting filler brands. You know what I mean? I don't, well, I don't think, not in the deluxe sizes anyways. Not in the deluxe bag, but it could possibly be in the other bags that we just can't get here in Canada. Okay, everyone. That's my final look. So, there's my eyes. I should put a little bit more gold on so it pops out. But that's it. That's my Ipsy bag. I'm really, really happy with my Ipsy bag this month. Great choices. I'm not even mad at the cleanser, which I use and my daughter's going to love. And it left my face looking really, really nice and shiny. I like that. There's a nice glow on my face. But, um, yeah, that's my look, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. I'm hoping to get BoxyCharm. I literally just got my thing telling me what I got in my box. And my box is not here yet. So I'm hoping to get my box tomorrow and play with those goodies. And happy Valentine's Day. Um, love you. And if I happen to pop up in a live tomorrow, come by and say hello. Bye. Love you.